It's an age-old debate, evolution versus creationism, and it will soon play out in a whole new way. The founder of a Kentucky museum devoted to promoting biblical creation is set to face off with none other than Bill Nye, the science guy, and Bill Nye joins us live in the Situation Room. Bill, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it. How did this uh, debate come about? Uh, well, a little over a year ago, I made a, I mentioned something to the Associated Press about my concern about science literacy and people who want to teach that the Earth might be 10,000 years old in science class and how this would not be in the best interests of the United States or really of the world. And so one thing led to another and, and this uh, notorious or well-known creationist asked me to debate him. I said, okay. And, uh, and let me, let me uh, bring in what the founder of the Creation Museum, who you will be debating, uh, wrote about uh, all of this, and we, we want to put this up on screen. Uh, he says, this debate will help highlight the fact that so many young people are dismissing the Bible because of evolution, and even many young people who had grown up in the church decided to leave the church because they saw evolution as showing the Bible uh, could not be trusted. Uh, what do you make of that, Bill? Well, as I say, I, I'm not going to attack or I'm not concerned about anybody's religion per se, but the earth is not 10,000 years old. Evolution is real. You and I are a result of it. And this is important for our young people to know because they are the future. And we have to have a scientifically literate populace in order to solve the world's problems, in order to to make the world better, uh, life better for as many people as possible in the coming decades. So to have a, uh, to have a scientifically illiterate point of view uh, in your neighborhood or in the state uh, is not in anyone's best interest. And so right. we're going to talk about it. Let me ask you, Bill, because not all, uh, not everybody is in your camp on this, even on the evolution side. Uh, one science blogger, uh, Greg Layden, uh, he's criticizing your participation in this debate, and he says, let's put this up on screen. It says, Bill Nye is not really an expert on evolution and is actually not that experienced in debates. Being really, really pro-science and science education is not enough. When they went in after Osama bin Laden, they did not send people who are really, really against terrorism. They sent in SEAL Team 6. So what do you make of that criticism, Bill? Well, for me, I think this, the word debate is... Uh used loosely here. I'm not going to change uh, this guy's mind. I, th I imagine he'll fill the audience with his own supporters. But uh, You're going to be outnumbered be, there? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I'd be surprised if I weren't, but bring it on. And the, the thing is that for the people who live in that area, the Kentucky area adjacent to Cincinnati, you don't want uh, science students exposed to the idea, or but not exposed, uh, given the idea that the earth might be 10,000 years old and this is just or 6,000 years old this is not this is a, an economic concern we don't want people in the future uh, who are going to become our scientists and engineers to not grasp the importance of the process of science and, and Bill how we you came said to you're going to be you were just saying in the world. you're going to be outnumbered there and you said bring it on are you going to win this debate well as i say i don't think i'm going to be able to change this guy's mind but i hope i'm able to influence some people in the area that this uh sort of thinking is not in the national interest this is uh it's i i'm not sure really this is one of the things i'd like to find out is if this guy really believes this or is he uh in it for some other reason because it's so extraordinary okay. I mean, right. it's so out of your everyday experience, and it's so inconsistent with everything that we observe in nature. And it's going to so, be a fascinating uh, debate I'm to watch, to Bill. interested to see what he has to say. All right, very, we're going to have to leave it there, but thanks for coming in and discussing this. It sounds like it's going to be a you. fascinating debate, and we'll be watching.